just be, be out, out with, with us. us to Nusa Penida. Today we are taking you on a tour of all the beautiful spots Nusa Penida has to offer. If you come into Diamond Beach by taxi, you have to pay 10k IDR for parking and also you need to pay ticket entry. It is 25k IDR per person and it comes with two bottles of water. Let's go. Upon entering to your immediate left, you will notice a restaurant here. It is 50K IDR and it's buffet style. So they have the food laid out and you get to choose what you want. And there's other stores leading to the beach. Let's go. We arrived here at about 8.45 and now it is 9.10 and there is a line of people trying to go down to take pictures. When I told you it was a cliffside beach, I was not kidding. And these are the stairs that actually leads you to the beach. You have to walk down the steps. We spoke to a couple of people. They said it is scary to take these steps and make sure if you do decide to wear proper footwear. But just a, a few steps down, you can actually go down to take your nice pic pictures. The views are absolutely beautiful here. So what, so what we waiting? noticed, just a few steps from the actual top area there, this is where the bottleneck starts, right in this area before the cliff actually goes around, because when it goes around, it basically gets very steep from that point. So most people just come to this point here along this way and they just start taking photos because from here you can see the palm trees, the cliffside, the beach, and it's good enough for most people. So if you just wanted to come and just take photos, this would be suffice and you would also get beautiful photos. When coming to Nusa Penida, you have to be really careful. A lot of people want to come right to the edge of the cliff and it has been a lot of fight fatalities. You can see the cliff is has a lot of sand and loose rocks so please be careful and don't risk coming too close to the edge absolutely gorgeous here at the diamond beach and if you would like to go down the steps be sure to come early so it's not too hot you can also hike down to the atu beach but today we just walked around we spent about an hour here and there are a few uh, structures that you can actually take pictures with overall it's a really cool spot there are structures around where you could take photos if you're coming here with a guide then they will help you you know take photos we saw people doing that um, besides that that's pretty much it we're about to head to our next spot and uh, see what that has in store for us just a short five minute drive from the Diamond Beach we arrived to the next popular spot it's called a thousand islands the parking is 10k IDR four cars and you also have to pay admission fee it is 15 K IDR per person we paid 30 just now and it also comes with a bottle of water so at the end of the day when you come into these places make sure you have cash with you JBO tip and as you can see the views here are gorgeous here they have several structures that you can take pictures with the view so this one for example you actually have to pay 50k to take pictures there so as you can see this is another kind of outcove area and you have a heart that's decorated but if you wanted to take a photo here there is a 25k charge also on your way there's a lot of additional charges so again make sure you bring cash with you and this is the famous tree house it cost a 75k rufia to uh, take pictures here 
and this is where you sign up and get the ticket again it's cash only and at the moment there is a 40 minute wait we are now at the very top there is a line to take pictures you can see the entire surroundings all the cliffs the house cliff house is right below the best spot to take photos and videos is all the way at the end and this is actually the free spot so there is a big line to take pictures and mind you it is early in the morning all right let's take a breather for a moment and talk about the processes here and what the system is like well first of all to get to where we are down here you have to go down a lot of stairs and the stairs are not your typical stairs as far as the drop per step it's actually carved out of stone so it's deeper drop so every time you step down it's a it's a deep drop you're dropping into when you're going down the stairs so if you have any disabilities as far as with your feet and you're not able to walk well this is not hip problems ankle problems yeah this is not a place for you to come down even going up the steps to the treehouse area the steps are very they're steep and they're also very wide so the, the main reason you would come down here is to take a photo at the famous treehouse that you see all over instagram but just know number one you need to have patience because when you get here the way it works is that you have two minutes per person and you have to pay separately for the treehouse once you get down here. Two minutes per person, so as a couple for Irene and I, we get four minutes on the steps. Right now we're in queue, we're waiting. There are some shaded areas for you to sit and wait. We had a 40 minute wait once we were here and I could imagine at some times and at some point it could probably be even more than that that you're waiting around. Yes, there are things to see here and little pods. You could take uh, photos and videos and, and nice scenery, but you're just basically waiting around for your two or four minutes of a uh, photo opportunity or video opportunity here at there the treehouse. There are also toilets here and mm -hmm. you can purchase extra drinks, soda or water over here right in this area. There are a couple more tree houses here in this area where we are. You can go up on the balcony and take photos and videos. I think that the tree house are actually sealed off so you can't go in the tree house, but it does have a balcony and you can kind of take photos on the balcony and that's also free. But on the way down, there are some lookouts also that where they have these things set up and you have an additional charge for that on your way down. You'll know when they're calling another person because you'll hear a bell. So after the two or four minutes is up, you'll hear ding, 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 and you'll hear him call the next number. So you're kind of aware and being in this area, you can hear when they actually call someone. So at least you know when it's your turn or close to it that you want to be nearby. our hotel he was on time we were late and he is walking around taking us to different spots he actually recommended us to switch out the uh, sequencing of our itinerary to avoid traffic so he knows the ins and outs of the island and while we're here on the point of interest he is actually with us helping us taking pictures thank you Thank you. So when you come to Nusa Pinida, whether it's a day trip, which we don't recommend, we recommend to actually stay overnight and be sure to contact Kadek on WhatsApp to book your trip with him. We will leave his direct WhatsApp number in the description below. All right. After that hike up those stairs. Miniature hike comparing to Kalinkin and Diamond Head. Yeah, it doesn't compare, but nonetheless. You see the sweat. So we're actually relaxing, having a nice cold coconut before hitting our next destination. And I should say we're having a nice cold coconut with a view. 
house. Just a quick 20 minute drive from the tree house. We are now at this beautiful lookout. These are Teletubbies Hills. Gorgeous, lush, green, plush. You just want to squish them or just sit on them. They are so beautiful. The van is flying the drone. And after this, we are heading to our next location. As soon as we got here, it already seems very chaotic. There are tons of bikes and also cab drivers, taxi drivers are everywhere. And now we're making our way down to the beach area and there's a path and along the way there are stores, there are restaurants, there are toilets. And of course, for every toilet you pass, you have to pay. 5K IDR and shower is 2K IDR. We made it to the most popular area of the island called Kilinkin Beach and the views over here are absolutely stunning. No wonder it is the most crowded area here as well. The parking was really tough to get. We had to pay for parking 5K IDR. There are paid toilets, there are tons of tourists and it's pretty much you need to get your spot if you want to take a picture really quickly. Take your picture and move on. It's so funny, the guides, some of the guides actually climb the trees to help you take a picture from a little bit the view on the top it is very hot here when I'm going to go down the van is flying the drone but if you do want to climb be sure to come early in the morning before the crowds come in This place is absolutely beautiful. The moment I saw the beach, it gave me goosebumps because it looks exactly like the way you see it, whether it's on social media or you see YouTube videos, but in person, it just takes on a whole new meaning. From the top, the beach looks absolutely pristine. We did not go down, so we can't really tell you what the sand feels like. You have tour guides and trees taking pictures of the people that they have in their taxis that they're taking around on tour. So these guys definitely get uh, creative and they get your shots, that's for sure. You will get nice photos with your tour guides. Well, our tour guide <laughs> also climbed on the tree, but our video didn't come out as well as we anticipated. Coming on this tour, you need cash. You have to have cash with you, even to use the toilets, especially here in this area here, you need cash. And no one takes cards if you want to get a snack if you want to get something to drink and you probably will want to get something to drink because it is hot here i don't know how many videos you've watched before you've seen this one or if this is your first we'll be the first to tell you it is scorching hot here and i'm sure you watch others and it's they say the same thing believe it it is really really hot matter of fact look they even sell hats here like they have a hat stand <laughs> So if you come and you forgot to bring a hat or something, you can actually pick one up here. Also be sure to bring lots of sunblock coverage, extra coverage either for your head or for your shoulders. See all those bikes behind us? That's where all the bikes are parked. Our next stop is Broken Beach. See you there. What you're looking at is all the taxi drivers, the tour drivers that bring people here. It's a lot filled with people. And look, this is a bottleneck coming in and out of this area. Sometimes the wait is about five minutes just to get your way in because it's a tight squeeze to get in. A lot of them, the side mirrors, if you notice, uh, they're kind of either broken or they're scuffed up. Oh, we got a little break. 
it was a 20 minute ride from Kilinkin Beach to Broken Beach. Our driver dropped us off on the little dirt road and this is a shortcut to get to Broken Beach. The official parking is a little further where you can right next to the parking where you can reach Angel Billabong and then walk down to reach the Broken Beach. But we're starting actually at the Broken Beach and then make our way to uh, Angel Billabon and then to parking. Parking here is 5k uh, IDR and uh, the rest of the entrance is free. it is called broken beach here there is actually no beach it's a beautiful circular cove area with a hole right inside the cliff so the water actually floods this entire cove area the locals know where's the best opportunity to take photos so they put the ladder for you here and they have people stand and the view is right behind her. There is way less people here. There is shade, tables, some cafeterias with a little food, gelatos, water, snacks, iced coconuts. You can all purchase it here in the area. There has been a lot of accidents in Nusa Penida specifically because a lot of places have cliffs and people are trying to get so close to the cliffs even though some areas are clearly boarded roped off people are still trying to inch in closer to the edge and fatalities happen all the time here so when you come here please don't take the risks and do not get too close to the edge this entire area is a circle there is a path you, you can actually walk around the entire area the entire lagoon circle around and we were told that if you stand on top of that natural bridge and look down there is a chance you might see manta rays the reason why it is not as crowded anymore is because it is past 3 p.m. and most people who came here on a day tour left because the last ferry back to Bali leaves at 4 p.m. and everybody we have spoken to who has taken a day trip they all say the same thing it is way too rushed the tour felt very rushed our tour guy was giving us so much time he says no worry no problem just take your time we have all day you don't have to rush back to the ferry but if you are here on a day trip you will be staying in each location about 15 minutes and quickly going to the next location so we highly recommend you to stay at least overnight we actually staying here for three nights we enjoyed our time at the deep roots if you haven't seen that video we will leave the link in the description below so if you would like to actually hike the diamond beach or kilinkin beach it is absolutely stunning get there at 7 a.m to start your hike because it will get way too hot we weren't even hiking and we were just standing and we were drenched so can you imagine going down and up those steep stairs it is crazy crazy the beaches are absolutely gorgeous and we would actually love to hike down someday uh, and experience the beach keep in mind the beaches get really dangerous as well the waves and the winds might get really high and it's been also a lot of accidents where people got hurt or even got killed trying to swim with big waves so if you would like to avoid crowds or if you would like to hike when it's not as hot, be sure to start at 7 a.m. Today we're doing a full day tour, the east side and the west side. 
but if you would like to come to each location without the crowds be sure to separate the tour in tour one day you do ju just the east side and the other day just the west side and get here by 7 a.m next we're heading to angel billabon right now it's just maybe a two three minute walk and uh let's see what that looks like As you can see, this is all like lava looking rocks already and you see a group of people in the distance. Let's get a little closer. In Bali, there are setups for picture taking everywhere. This setup will cost you 5,000K IDR per person. Tide looks extremely low. We have seen video footage of this area and the waves are just battering on the rocks and the waves are super high, but right now it is just really, really, really low and it's quiet and people are kind of right off the edge of the cliff. Normally, if the waves would come in, they wouldn't be sitting there because the waves come that high. And this is the spot, Angel Billabon. It is a natural pool tide or tide pool. And here are the steps to go down if you want to swim in it. Right now, there are absolutely no waves and it is completely still. The water is extremely clear really cool in this area there is also manta bay or the locals say manta bay and this area is known for snorkeling and looking for mantas and as you can see there is a snorkeling boat with tourists in this area our last stop on this tour is Amok Sunset and it is a restaurant, of course cliffside like everything else here on Nusa Pinida and this restaurant is really popular for obviously the sunset as its name says but it's really cool because there is also a nice little pool area, there are little tree looking houses here some settings for you to take pictures and enjoy sunset that does it today for our day trip on nusa Penida. we went around the entire island and it was amazing definitely worth visiting be sure you don't come here for just a day trip and stay here for at least a night or two or three like us mm -hmm. and we will leave all the links to the places we recommend to stay and if you need a good driver we will leave Cadex number in the description below and now for some quick jbo tips that you guys should know before coming here well number one make sure you come with a lot of cash because everywhere you go whether you want to use the restroom or you want to buy a snack or you want to buy lunch or you want to buy water or, or coconuts, pay for your parking or entrance pay for the ticket parking. yes and that's a part of it that is a part of it you are responsible for all the parking if you do take a taxi of course and also entrance fees to a lot of these places you do have to pay an entrance fee if you want to take a, a photo at a heart-shaped structure or in a nest that's going to be an additional charge and it's cash only if you found this video useful don't forget to click like thank you so much for watching and as usual just, just be out with us, us.